Hey everybody, I'm Dave with Growing the Home Garden. I am out here on our property today walking around the woods because I wanted to show you a little bit of something that you need to know about uh, that's a highly invasive plant. And you might see this pop up in your garden. It might be maybe you've got some property and it's over there. Maybe you've got a farmstead that uh, you've got a lot of this on it. And I see a lot of questions on Facebook and other, other sites asking, what is this plant that I see? And it's called privet. And so we're gonna go over and take a look at some of the privet. I've got a ton of it. And that is one of my first jobs as a uh, responsible gardener here on our seven acres to go through and reduce as much privet as I possibly can. I will never be able to get all of it. Uh, there's just too much and it comes in the birds bring it in on berries and seeds and they drop it wherever they happen to put their droppings at and it grows and it grows uncontrollably uh, so let's let me let me show you exactly what privet looks like and we'll talk a little bit more about it so this is a pathway i've got on our property that i've cut in the past with a mower um, but if you check out over here, you've got this evergreen foliage just like that. This is, uh, privet is an evergreen through the winter and you can see it very easily when all the leaves drop. Now check out all this privet that's here. It's coming across through the woods, all around. This pathway is mostly even through privet. There's a clearing right over there where there's a walnut tree, right? That's a walnut tree there. And that pathway, that is all privet, that is all privet. Now there's some other invasive plants in this area too, not just the privet, there's some bush honeysuckle, there's definitely poison ivy, which we'll have to take care of. But we're underneath these really tall walnut trees here. And as you can see, the privet has no problem growing as a understory plant. It's growing very well, very strong. It can also grow in full sun. It has absolutely no impediments with sunlight it just grows and here's kind of what the the trunk of it will look like now as far as treating privet it's one of those things that i think it is the kind of plant that you would feel comfortable using some sort of chemical treatment on it uh, it is just so invasive and it pushes away other plants that I think that is the right time to use a chemical treatment. And what you would do is you would cut it down to the base and you would treat the stump. And the other way I've read that you can do it, although I have not done this, is because Roundup and products like that actually rely on the foliage bringing it into the plant itself, that since it is evergreen, you can spray the leaves in the winter time and you reduce risk of hurting the other deciduous plants that you might have in the area. However, you know, that, take that for what it's worth. Definitely contact your uh, local agriculture extensions and get good advice from them and make sure that that's what they recommend. But check this out here. You'll also notice these here. This is what causes all the spreading. These little berries that are produced, the birds come, eat them, and spread them all over the place. And then what happens is these plants take over wherever those land and push out the plants that you do want to have around in your area. So here's our field area right now. Our future house will go right about up there. But I'm going to turn around, and if you check this out, all the way from over here, all the way around this area, all this understory growth is pretty much privet. There's tons of berries on these trees right here, and it goes all the way up the hillside. It is kind of all over the edge of the clearing area and the wooded area. So it, it's mu definitely much stronger here in the sunlight. I've got lots of walnut trees that are popping up that will eventually shade this area. Some of those I'll probably need to cut out. We also have some locust trees like this one right here. Be careful around those. They've got very sharp spikes on those branches. So we'll keep walking up and in, in here through this grass here, the blue stem grass. But up this way, got another little pathway that I started to cut a while back, but I haven't maintained it too well. Uh, but you can see here, it's also privet. And I'll just have to use these pathways to come in here with a chainsaw, cut those things back, spray the stumps, and hopefully they won't regrow. Uh, but you also notice here, there's another tree that is another one I love to hate. 
that is a Bradford pear. This one is not a planted Bradford pear. It is a wild one that the birds have sown out here as a wonderful gift for us. Uh, but it's going to get cut down too. And I'll pretty much go through the property once we start living here and cut down everything like a Bradford pear, all the privet, and it's a pretty big project. Now, if you have goats or something, the goats will eat it, uh, but I think they'll only go up as high as they can reach. And privet will grow higher than what the goats can probably reach. So uh, it's definitely recommended for you to come in and cut them out as much as you possibly can. Watch for seedlings. They will shoot up just like these branches. They'll look the same as that. And take out those seedlings as quick as you can so they don't get established in your yard. So let me scan back this other way here so you can see how much privet we actually have on this side. There is a lot. Now I would bet that this area right here, once I clear out all that privet, I'll have almost clear area to the other side. There's a little bit of a field area on the opposite uh, side of those trees and stuff. Now that's a hackberry tree over there. I'm not sure what these others are. I think we got a combination of hackberry and walnut through those. There's a really neat looking oak tree somewhere there in the back that I want to go find one of these days. Um, but anyway, we've got our work cut out for us. Now, once we have those cleared, probably have a lot of options for replacing them. Um, I would love to see this whole area filled up with like redbud trees, native plant, flowers real pretty in the springtime. Um, looks really nice. So if you check these berries out here, they, there's massive quantities of them right here. You can see why the birds spread them around they just produce a really abundant amount of seeds and they go all over the place. So that's why it's very hard to eradicate and controlling it anytime you see it is really, really important because it will spread very quickly if allowed to. So guys, I hope that's helpful in identifying privet. It's one of the most invasive plants here in Tennessee today. Add that to the Bradford pear, honeysuckle, and some other things out there. And it really displaces a lot of uh, plants that native wildlife needs to use in the area. So I highly recommend if you have it on your property, if you happen to see it, remove it right away as quickly as you possibly can. I'm going to be doing the same as, as soon as we get out here. I'm going to be doing a lot of work. But as you can see, it's a little difficult when we're not living here on the site to actually go through and uh, spend the time I need to come through and chainsaw all this down. Um, anyway, I'm Dave with Growing the Home Garden. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe. We'll catch you next time.